Hello and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. And uh, if you've seen my Season 4 update video, you know what's happened. If not, a quick summary is the update kind of borked my save. And so I decided to do a soft reset because we were essentially ready to leave anyway. We had the boat built, it was fueled, it was stockpiled with resources, and we just needed to cut it off and drive away. And so, as you can see, the uh, the base isn't here, and like the mine isn't there either. All of our changes and effects on the world haven't happened yet. Because this is essentially the scenario, and it's like I've sort of rewound time a bit. But, we spawned in the boat, gave myself a seed amount of resources to build the next base, and the in-lore, in-game reason is going to be that the United Colonies of Agoras have uh, ad adopted some new environmental policies that you must restore the terrain when you, once you move on, so therefore I did a full restoration of the hillside. <laughs> Uh, to go along with that, we are also going to be doing the Resource Nodes mod, as it's something that I uh, only somewhat knew about at the beginning of this series, but after testing it midway through the series, I'm like, damn, this is pretty nice. I kind of want to include it, and this is a great in-lore reason to do it. These things you place on top of an ore deposit, and they just magically make that particular ore without having to mine out the deposit. Yay for no voxel destruction, which will help reduce lag and improve the performance of space engineers. So, that is why it's happened in the game world. Got those ecological responsibilities to clean up the site after you're done. You got some remediation to do. And today, we're leaving. We are going for a sailing trip around the world to explore some new lands, and as such, we have the name, the Discovery. We have the Her Majesty's Canadian ship, Discovery, as I'm a Canadian person, so therefore HMCS, and the Discovery, because it is George Vancouver's lead ship. I'm a map maker for a occupation. I make maps, and... I have a, a little history thing, you know, just like, oh, these are all the ma people who mapped out the area where I live. So, George Vancouver mapped out Vancouver Island, where I live, so therefore, we're taking his lead ship, which was the Discovery, and calling it our lead ship. As this is the ship that is going to take me to discover some new lands. <laughs> it's, it's quirky, but I like it. Okay, so we need to, we're, we're essentially ready to go. We could just drive away. However, the Wave Rider, which has been reverted to a Wave Rider because this save is before I even make the Wave Skimmer as a concept, I've kind of rewound in time a little bit here. Uh, I don't have a way to connect it right now, and so I need to get that connected. But I thought, hey, why don't I actually get that on board using the new turret custom controller thing. And it's fully functional with here within Industrial Overhaul as well. Why don't we build this? I can make a custom turret controller and I could make a crane and I could crane that thing onto this boat and then there's no issues. So I think that is what we are going to do today. We're going to quickly make a crane, get it onto the boat, and then get the heck out of here. Uh, so just in case you're wondering, I've refilled the boat with a set amount of resources. We look at the cargo container. And then I went and went through all of my different uh, building, uh, like production buildings here. I made them pro properly into the master building and any of the co-op ones. And then reset all of my... Uh, numbers of uh, things that we want to automatically build with our quota list, which is excellent. So the master has all of the things and the co-op is just helping it. 
So what we should be able to do is easily grab some steel plates and such and build up this system as we also have the build and repair. It is built into the ship. If we fly in over here, it is currently right there. And uh, so that way, anything I build up will be automatically put together and I don't have to worry about it. So I'm thinking uh, back right corner here, we can't go all the way in the corner because that's where those railings are. But right here, I'm thinking piston, rotor, and that will be the azimuth rotor for my my turret. Then the slope, and then piston, and then I'm not sure what I want to do here. I think it's hinge hinge because if I just have a single hinge the best I can do is to point uh, straight down 90 degrees if I have two hinges then what I no wait I don't need a oh, I should do a hinge here that's what I need so this is gonna be rotor and then this right here is gonna be hinge yes because this is the one I'll control. So let's plunk that hinge down. And then I... Oh god, I have no bottle. Uh, there's probably a bottle in the wave rider here. Jetpack fuel critical as I hover over the... Uh, the water. Uh, let's see. Do I have a bottle in here? I do. Give me those hydrogen bottles. Thank you. Now I can fly for a while. So this little custom turret controller will just slap down here and hopefully let the build and repair work on it. Though we can assist it as well. I have to get some uh, I have to get some cargo access on that on this level because that is that's going to be annoying. Can't get it through there because the grate's in the way. And oh, most of everything is already in there except some sensor clusters and wire. Okay, sensor clusters and wire. Do we have sensor? No. Who makes sensor clusters? Uh, assembler? No, that feels like a microelectronics factory. Yes, okay. So you need sensor clusters. What do you need for sensor clusters? You need basic computers for sensor clusters. Ah, but the basic computers are in your output, which is always a thing that annoys me. They can't take from their own outputs. So I need to figure this out. Cargo. And we'll go master for all these things. And we'll just pump all of their outputs back into a storage container. That way they can access their own outputs. They can actually make things properly. There we go. So what else do you need for that, Mr. Microelectronics Factory? You need glass, base computers, copper, silicon, nickel. Glass, base computers, gold, silicon, nickel. What? Well, then... We're, just take some basic computers. Why is this the why is this hard? Copper, silicon, nickel, glass and basic computers. Copper, silicon, nickel, glass and basic computers. Oh, wait, do I have this block off? That would be a very thing. Is my production off? It is. I'm dumb. That's why I'm an idiot. <laughs> I had I put all my production onto one group so that way I could limit my power usage because when I'm running all my production this boat like uses up the majority of its power um, capacity. Oh, yeah, I'm 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 a special case. I mean I've only got this these six acid batteries here, which they uh, when running for my production I'm depleted in half an hour or so, and that's without moving at all. 
So now, yeah, there we go. Sensor clusters, just two more, and this thing will be built. Okay, so let's go rename this. Piston brain. Uh, vertical. Rotor brain. Uh, azimuth. And this is going to be hinge brain Ellie. For the elevation. Oh, come on, sensor cluster. Mr. Microelectronics? Why are you not making that? You just need a couple. You just need a couple, Mr. Lycor Electronics. There we go. There's one belt. Hey, there we go. Built up. Okay. Custom turret control. So azimuth is going to be the azimuth and the elevation. And we don't have an assigned camera yet, but that is okay. We do not need... <laughs> kind of funny that building repair is an available tool. We don't need that right now, as we are going to put a helm, one of those new standing desks, essentially, out here, right here. So you walk out to the crane, you take control of it, and you're able to do stuff with it there. I need an aluminum plate. Plate. Where be that aluminum? Ah, there we go. Oh, I had seven sensor clusters on me. Ugh. I should have, uh... I should have known that I was the culprit. Excellent. And take control. And we'll put on here that custom turret. Yeah, we want to take control of it here. And I don't think we need a camera because we'll be in third person here. Are sitting here controlling this thing. So this way and then down and up and left and right. So that is the correct way for this hinge. Uh, although I am going to go in and to that custom turret. I'm going to turn down these nines to like twos so that this thing is uh, much slower and requires more deliberate movement. Okay. Sweet. So then f on this, I'm going to want some more steel plate. I'm going to go and I think a piston out. And then if I just have a single rotor on this other side, it will only allow it to go 90 degrees. And so if I pick this up, the the it'll like swing out because it'll only be able to go 90. So I think I need two hinges here. So I'm going to have to go hinge hinge and I believe I turn these off if I'm not mistaken. So that way it is essentially just going to fall with gravity. Then I uh, put a piston there eventually once that is a uh, fallen back down. And then I can just put a magnetic plate on the end of it. And uh, I should have a crane that I can operate. Then what I'll do is I can just swing the crane out, use the piston to lower down to grab something, pick it up, swing it on here, pop it down. Alright, those two are built up. Now I can move them a little bit to the side. And I can turn this one off. And hang a piston on it if I had any steel plate. Oh, this is just a lack of resources right now. And that should hang straight down and then we can just plop a mag plate on the bottom of it and I think that'll work if I if I take this one and I say 
Lock it to 45 degrees. I keep bringing this down and sort of st stick it in there at 45. I think that hinge will do okay, and I can just use that one as the, uh, the hinge I need. Because that'll give it enough uh, motion, right? So if I jump onto here and take control, I should be able to now lift that. And that hinge will fall down. And if I lower it, the hinge will, yeah, adjust with the gravity. And I can swing it out over towards the scout boat. And now, I just need to add a couple more controls. So that one control is my, my vertical for my main crane. Then I need to get the horizontal for the arm to extend my arm out and then the third piston this is incomplete one which will be the piston crane arm and then I'll have that on my next one once it's you know, built and I can extend that down and Mr. Wave Rider can get into position here right underneath that arm, and it can get its dampeners on for frick's sake. Silly weight rider. Come on. What are we waiting for for resources? Basic computers. God damn, I've got a... I have got a lack of computers right now. as I have a lack of uh, wire, actually. I need to steal wire from other stuff. Push it into the microelectronics factory as I simply not getting enough wire these days to make all of my basic computers. Uh, microelectronics master basic computers the front please please I need them first and done oh I'm gonna have to keep that stuff uh, producing more and more computers here as that is a bottleneck in my current setup so the wave rider is moving away a little bit we can fix that by dampening relative so that way I don't move and now if I position myself correctly which should be a uh, here a tiny bit further away something like that that should be good I should be able to take control of this arm and then move my arm downwards ah, that is the limit of my motion but then I can Push my little grabby to arm down. What? No, come here. Grab. Thank you. Uh, 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 uh. Turn off your dampeners. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, then we will retract our arm, raise this, take control of the little crane again and <laughs> spinny it <laughs> onto the ship <laughs> this is a little clangy but I like it <laughs> ah beautiful I'll just continue to lift it up a little bit as that comes down and so it's going to be gently held above the dock there and the wave rider 
can sit there. <laughs> hey, it worked! <laughs> One crane arm at your service. Okay, Wave Rider, stay. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Into the main sh cockpit. Power forward. And my battery's already at 61%. Ow. Damn. But now that we're powering forward, we'll put on our override, which looks to be about, say, 20... 25%. For our thrusters and uh, the HMCS Discovery is off. We are traveling to new waters to create a wonderful new base. Uh, we have a fairly long way to go. You guys probably won't see the entire trip here, but I will do it, and uh, we can we can activate our hydrogen engines here. And we'll see our time go from 30 minutes remaining until we'll pop up. Take a look at our gas tank here. We are empty in 14 hours with our hydrogen tank fully filled. So that hydrogen tank is going to keep us in power for our entire trip. Excellent! Well, beyond that... The only other thing that I haven't really set up on this boat is um, food. We need to get daily survival needs back online. I did give myself a bit of food. So if we look, we do have 100 tofu and 100 drinking water in a cargo container. However, we will eat that eventually. <laughs> so we need to make up some more of the... Uh, the enclosed hydroponics and such. We will aim ourselves here in the right direction, which we should be able to sail in that direction for a good amount of time. No worries about hitting the ocean floor here, as it is quite deep. And we'll just let that sail as we work on filling out this room. So the first thing we had in here is this turret control for the crane. And I'm thinking this wall here is going to be my daily survival needs. As... Oh, I needed my conveyors. Right there. I need the food resequencer, water recycler, and the enclosed hydroponics. As, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's this block? Yes! This block leads down to the top of one of the refineries. So that way I can plunk down a junction and then all of the different uh, blocks for daily survival needs have... They have conveyors on all the other sides. So it becomes really easy just to cover the wall with them and they'll conveyor all, like, each other all up. Which is awesome. And I'm just going <laughs> to keep popping out to make sure I'm not going to be sailing into uh, dangerous waters here. Oh, God. It looks like I should be fine in terms of depth. Very good. Very, very good. Okay. So if I go food resequencer, then water recycler needs girders. I can't get that from here. Girder, 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 girder. And also, I turned off a couple of these, um... Turned off the fabricators and the assemblers so they would stop stealing my wire to make those, uh, computers. So then, water recycler. Ah! Not two of them. Then, just... Hydroponics. And I'm thinking... That many. So with that many hydroponics, I should be able to 
keep myself alive. Uh, good. Plenty of depth. My turrets are on and arming radius is good. And they are currently at flak, which will be anti uh, drone. I think they can go HE. Anti ship. And then the Sea Wiz are in their standard ammo, which is good for taking out drones. I don't think I need to worry about missiles because I'm I'm moving at 20 meters a second. So I should be able to dodge them if they fire missiles at me. Excellent. So that is building up. Uh, beyond that, we did do a full rebuild of the basement down here with all this stuff replaced. We got all of the production as we could ever need it. Including, got synthetics, chemical refinery, and ceramics furnace. Everything we could want. Excellent. So you were, again, again, we just have a basic computer shortage. It seems to be a, I guess it's kind of like a knock-on effect. It's a basic computer shortage because we have a copper wire shortage. Because wire is just used with so much stuff. Like, my two wire drawers here, uh, I'm just going to say to build several thousand wire each. Because it seems to be that much <laughs> of a uh, importance. The, the production quota is nice, but it kind of just fails when you need just, just like... I should probably set the uh, production quota for for copper wire to be like a thousand instead of a hundred because just I just need wire for everything and I should never stop making wire because if I have enough of that then things like the fabricator and stuff can make me basic computers in the microelectronics factory. Wait, are they both doing that? Fab. Oh, sorry, I want to go look at my masters. So these are my different ones. Fabrication, you are making. You're not making base computers. Microelectronics factory is making base computers. I thought I saw the fabricator making them, but I must be mistaken. The co op fabricator is making them. I wonder if it's taking that from the uh, microelectronics factory. Like, they're sharing. Hey, I have a, a base computer and then from the microelectronics. And the fabricator goes, hey, I can make a base computer. Want me to do that for you? And he goes, okay, here, here you go. Because it's part of the co-op. Because normally you're never supposed to have this many different um, types of production structures. It should just be assemblers and basic assemblers. And I think they trade between each other as well. So that's probably why it's happening. But prioritize those basic computers, please. And you just make more basic computers. Keep calling for that copper wire. As I watch my little uh, my my um, resource seed that I gave myself. I did give myself 50,000 iron. And look at it. I'm already down at 38,000. Like, I've already chewed through 5,000 copper. <laughs> it's like, ah! <laughs> I'm going through it so fast! I'm going to have to get some resources soon. I think one of my next concerns is the fact that the wave rider here is not charging. I don't have it plugged in. I could do the thing where I burrow in and place a block here. I could conceivably put a connector there and then actually drop it onto this and connect it. Um, but I think I might just put a recharging station here. Yes. 
and I could just put a charging station, uh, honestly, right here. And then, or, ooh, just at the base of the crane. That looks good. Just needs a, a single base computer. I'm sure I can, I can manage that. I'm making tons of that stuff right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I have to remember to have a dampened relative, because we're moving. <laughs> Charging station. Whoa! Splash. Okay. That's built up. Then I should be able to go. Boop. And then plug you in. And now I should be able to set you to charge. Excellent. You are now charging. Who are you? Could there be some uh, some people in the sky that I do not know of. Hmm. It is all right. Not much they can do to me. Oh, these are almost all built. Excellent. I just gotta go check my course, and then I'll come back down, and I can. Uh, fill those up. Ooh, time to make a bit of a turn here to the west. And I guess it's kind of the choice here. Do I, Am I going to go uh, north around the continent? I think, I think it's probably best to go south around the continent. Because I am kind of already near the southern shores. But I wonder if a great polar route would actually be faster. You know what I mean? Oh, because I'm, I'm, I am currently there, and I want to go. Uh, where are these? Where are these islands? That's the Arctic. These islands are here. So actually, if I'm looking at it. I look straight down from where these islands are. I'm a bit closer this direction. So if I sailed around this way, which is like going out and back, it's actually a little bit further than if I just continue sailing this direction and sail this way. Huh. Why don't we just do that? Let's sail out this way and we'll just we'll just go west. It's totally not the direction I was expecting to go, but who cares? <laughs> I mean, not much stopping us. We are also it also means that we can sail through some uh, unexpected and dangerous waters. Uh, we're gonna go from here. We'll sail all this way. We can go into here and, uh, wait, where is it? Not this place. Where's that island? That island with the, the bay. Right, we can sail into this bay and we can visit this base on the way. And we can, yeah, so we can go visit this base and then we'll leave from there and we'll keep sailing around these islands. I think we just keep sailing this way past the enemy continent, which maybe they'll send out attack patrols and we'll have to fight them off, past the volcanic island, and then we're there. That's actually not that far. Nice. That is awesome. But we'll also go and uh, revisit this base as well, since we haven't visited it in this save yet. We have to see them again and see if they want to trade anything. Because I do have some extra uh, advanced materials here. I did. I got a little bit more than probably I would have had. Uh, like when I put all these materials in here, I gave myself 50,000 of each basic and 10,000 of each intermediate and advanced resource. And I probably got myself a little bit more like gold and silver and stuff that I had previously. So I could go and trade some of this and make some moolah. 
<laughs> Maybe buy one of their their rovers or something and stick it on my ship with my crane and carry it with me to the new lands. The other thing we need to do here is our enclosed hydroponics farms are not going to function without water and nutrient solution. So we need to get that functioning. So we're going to have to go to our food protein resequencer. Re and we need nutrient solution, organic, and drinking water. And you're going to need a lot of it. So I'll just kill like a thousand of it. We have the organics for this. We do have some drinking water. However, what we should do is we do have a collector on this boat. Start turning it on. And we're going to want to watch our cargo carefully. As we're going to start to very quickly have a fair amount of ice show up. So that ice is coming in through the collector very quickly. And you can see it's being dumped into things like our fabricator, which is not where we want it. Uh, O2H2 generators are filling, which is good, and the water recycling system. This is what I want to make sure. Our water recycling system is doing its thing, uh, filling up with uh, ice and making me tons and tons of drinking water packets. So now we got some nutrient solution. But hey, Carcosa! There we go. Turn in towards them. Now we got some drinking water, uh, sorry, nutrient solutions. We should be able to go those nutrient solutions to enclosed hydroponics farms. And unfortunately, goddamn gravel gets put in there really quickly. So for those enclosed. I'm going to turn them off from the using conveyor system. So that way it doesn't automatically do this. I'm going to put in your gravel, and you're going to like it when I do it. God damn it. Because I'm going to put in a set amount of gravel for each one. So. You guys each need, say, 2,000 gravel. That gives you a good chunk of gravel that will be functional. Two more here. And that way, they're not going to fill up stupidly. Uh, aim a little bit this way and honestly cut our thrust override or start coming into a, a halt here. Now we need water. We need drinking water packets back into our enclosed. We'll probably put in like 25 each for now. Always increase that in the future. And then our nutrient solution here. We don't have much, so we'll just put in five each. Although that's probably, again, too much. Might not be able to get them all online immediately. Uh, no, we'll be able to do it. Excellent. And there we go. All of our enclosed hydroponic systems are functioning and making algae. And I will be able to survive, which is the most important part. <laughs> Now we need to worry about our depth. As we come in, say hi to Carcosa, and uh, probably end the episode here. Uh, the majority of the trip is just going to be me sitting here, twiddling my thumbs, and getting up to get some extra water or food every so often. And uh, I will, I guess I'll record it, or at least I'll have OBS running the entire time and if something really really exciting happens I will start commentating and uh, you know make it part of the episode but beyond that we just gotta sail uh, the next episode will probably be maybe just a few snippets of the adventure 
and then getting into landing at the opposite shore. And then we'll uh, go from there and start building up what is going to be our new base. So I'm going to come into here, into the depths, sorry, into the, sh into the, sh the shallows. God, not the depths, the exact opposite of the depths. And we shall leave our boat right here. Snug it up. There we go. Perfection. Put our boat there. And then with our jetpack. Oh, I need some water. Water, 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 water. Gimme, gimme. There we go. Let's go see what Carcosa wants. Hey, Carcosa! How you doing? Store here, 20000 for that little rover. I currently have... Oh, I lost all that money from selling the stuff as well <laughs> when I reset. I got no money. Okay. Uh, I can't sell anything to that one. Can't sell anything to that store. This one has a fuel transport. Uh, any other... Ah, store. Here we go. Can I, what can I sell to you? Okay. Uh, I can sell you silver. Woo! You want 3,302 pieces of silver. And that is a fair amount of money. Okay. 3,302. I can spare that. Because I have 10,000 of it. So I can give you multiple full loads of silver and take all of your money. So let me deposit everything else that I don't need. Make sure I got all the room I can. And oh, I will get a full container here of silver. And they will be able to purchase it all from me. Which makes me very, very happy. And I will be able to make some good dollar reduce. Sell that silver all five million dollars! <laughs> Sell. Oh, I'm a rich person now. Okay. Can I buy one of these boats? 20 million for that. 7.4 for the fuel transport. I might be able to purchase that, depending on how much more stuff I sell. Uh, what else do you guys want? Uh, nothing really that is, like, super amazing in terms of number per unit. Titanium. Uh, I have, I do have a lot of cobalt, because it's one of the five fifty thousands that I had. So I could sell that. So, like, 5k cobalt, 2.5k Aluminum, get another, another load. Uh, ah, missile, 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 missile. Let's get out of here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, they're ahead of me. Ah, uh, that's enough selling stuff. Full. Go, 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 go. Evasive action. Evasive action. Full thrust. Turn away. Run. <laughs> that is so many missiles. Holy crap. Alright. We are okay. We get away. And I should probably turn my uh, 100 millimeters off. I'm not really doing much except wasting ammo. <laughs> okay well that was very exciting I'll end this episode off with a bang as it is now nighttime. made a couple million bucks and we are back I think I'm back on the road again we are sailing west to our glorious glorious new lands which 
we will arrive, hopefully, next morning. And, uh, we'll be able to start setting up a new base. But that is going to be it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And good hunting out there, fellow space engineers. <laughs>